Okay, so at long last, here I am with the IBM Personal System 2 MicroMaster Upgrade Part 2. Part 1 of this video series was actually filmed way back on June 28th of 2009. And I never got around to doing Part 2 because a few things got in the way. But I'm back now and ready to come back to this project for all of you who have been so desperately and patiently waiting to see it. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. One of the things I've done since then and now is I've picked out what should be a much more compatible monitor. This is a much older AST monitor made back in the day when SVGA meant 800 by 600. This actually had a power switch grafted onto it by its previous owner because the one that's built in broke. Anyway, if we give that monitor a couple of minutes to warm up and maybe brush some of the dust off of it here, I will now show you from start to finish how long it takes to start Windows 95 and even run a few programs with the AOX Kingston MicroMaster upgrade in place. Now just to recap, this is a PS2 Model 65 SX. It has a 386 SX processor and a 387 SX mic MAFCO processor. Anyway, the AOX MicroMaster board actually upgrades that to a 486 with a MAFCO processor, making it a 486DX clocked at 33 megahertz. This upgrade was intended largely for those who had a PS2 at the time and didn't really want to trade up to a new model or risk reinstalling and removing the, mo the motherboard, known as a planar in IBM speak, for an upgrade. This upgrade also provides a much higher performance boost than upgrades that might clip over the processor and it doesn't have the compatibility issues associated with upgrades that might try to do that because some versions of the 386SX processor, namely those clocked at 16 megahertz, do not have a disable pin and cannot be overridden by simply clipping another microprocessor over the top. The MicroMaster works around these problems and results in your having effectively a true 486 computer from whatever you had before. Anyway, without further ado, let's start this thing up. And if you've watched part one recently of this video, then you don't have to go back and watch it again. But if you haven't watched it recently, you might want to go back and watch it and watch the, excuse me, watch the computer start up so you have a more accurate yardstick of just how big the difference is between the 386SX and the upgrade board. But here we go. This is a complete startup video, so we'll begin here at the power on self test. Now when the computer starts up, it takes a moment to identify the monitor because I have an XGA upgrade card in here, and then it counts the on motherboard or on planar board memory. After it has done that, the MicroMaster board takes over. Here we go. The MicroMaster board has its own memory count because it has its own onboard memory and it also has its own basic hardware test. At this time you could press O to cancel the startup of the board and return to the original processor. But for the sake of this video we're going to let the computer run as though it were a 486. Now it's going to start Windows 95. I actually don't know why this machine doesn't show the splash screen. It never has. But now with this AST monitor attached to it I don't have to switch the video plug when the system goes from VGA mode to XGA2 mode. And there's the desktop. I'm here thinking about it in there. And there we are. It's basically ready to use at this point. If we go in here to the My Computer Properties window, and bring up System and Properties. We can see that the computer definitely reports itself to be a 486 with 8 megabytes of memory and a little bit of something on the screen there. But also when you go in here to run a program of some type like say Paint, it will come up a lot faster than it would have on the original 386SX. 
So the MicroMaster board is definitely a worthwhile upgrade if you're looking to squeeze a little more life out of your old, reliable, favorite PS2 of times past. That's basically everything there is to say about it. And that concludes part two of this video. So thank you for watching, and stay tuned for my next PS2 video. In the meantime, good night.